breakfast time slash pre-workout I have two servings of cocoa pops with one serving of semi-skimmed milk and a black coffee so basically focus or focus first so basically that is what I'm gonna have for my breakfast slash post workout it is now 8 30 in the morning and a little bit tired I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty tired so the cocoa pops will give me about 50 grams of carbs in me for my pre-work uh, pre-workout and that coffee will count as my pre-workout drink because I haven't really got a pre-workout at the minute I might have some it, actually I might have some in my box I'll check I'll check what samples I've got left and I'll obviously let you know what I'm having there. So, weighed in this morning at 190.4 pounds. <laughs> I've put some weight on. Um, it's a bit sooner than expected, so we'll see. Like I said in the last episode, I'm going to cut things back to work out my maintenance calories. That's still in progress. I'm still working that out. I've uh, slipped a little bit this week due to work commitments. And today is not going to be a perfect day. Because it's Christmas markets and I will be eating out probably tonight, but I'm going to work around my calories like that. Save a lot of fats for later on, depending on what I'm going to have. So now I am going to get this down me and head to the gym. Lower body day. Oh no, I've said about cocoa pops. I think this is when I got it out of my box because I've had it since body power last year, it was like rock hard. Just heading to the gym now guys, a little bit later on than I expected. It is now half ten. So actually quite a bit later on. So I've had to have a pre-workout. Now in the previous clip you would have saw I did try to use my PhD, whatever that pre-workout is, but it wouldn't mix. It must. Have, it's been. I've had that sample since Body Power because I got a lot of samples and it's just not good. So, in the end, I've had to go to the one which I'm not really a fan of, which is my my protein pre-workout. It's a bit sugary, but I do need a bit of a pick me up, and I can't really drive with a coffee right now. So that's what I'm going to have. Um, it is freezing right now. Even though it's half ten, it is cold. That's why I got the hoodie on. Come in handy just as I expected and talking about the weather that's what uh, Travis S talks about recently in one of his videos how people will start off by talking about the weather I didn't even realize I've just done that but let's get off from that so it is going to be lower body day um, I believe it's going to be sets of three. I have to double check my program, and then it's so it's squats and deadlifts, and then I'll do some calf raises. I don't want to really kill myself today. I have so I have to, well, not have to. I'm going to Manchester a little later on for Christmas markets, and I'll probably eat out while I'm there. So I need to adjust my calories to really leave as many calories as I can for later on tonight, which is not a problem. I mean. I'll go to the gym now, it is half ten. I'll finish up in the gym and then I'll have my post-workout meal, so that'll probably go to about two o'clock, so I can last a little bit later than that. So what I'm gonna have, I don't know, but it'll probably be restaurant or something like that, so I know it'll be high in fat and high in calories, so try and save as much as I can. Eat and bulking, so it's not too much of a hassle if I do go over. You've got to treat yourself, I mean it is nearly Christmas, so that's what the plan is. Uh, workout's been going well lately, just want to touch up on that. Um, I am still enjoying the program. It's been getting a little bit difficult to get to the gym on my scheduled time, so I have had to be, rearrange my uh, gym schedule at the minute because of work. Work has been pretty busy. It is getting to Christmas and stuff like that, and it's just, just a busy time. So there has been a lot of work, a lot of changes at work, so that's what I've had to deal with. And you just got to do that, haven't you? can rearrange it there's no point being too anal about it and um, having to and getting worked up if you 
your dog or hit the gym at this certain time at this certain day. You've just got to play with it. It's just got to, it's got to fit around your lifestyle. It's no point in it taking over your life. So that's what I've had to do. Yeah, it's a bit of annoying. I've not been able to get to the gym in three days. So this, I'm, <clears throat> it might kill me this workout actually. And then when I'm going to do a lot of walking around later, I don't think I've thought about this ever. A heavy leg day followed by a lot of walking. Mm. This could be fun. But anyway, guys, enough talking for now. I will catch you in the next clip in the gym, probably in the squat rack. See you in a bit. Hey, guys, so welcome to my teal coloured wall. So I'm filming this little snippet just to add some extra footage to the Lean Mass episode because it wasn't that much uh, film footage. I'll explain what happened. So the plan was to go to the Christmas markets in Manchester, so that is what we did. But I didn't want to carry around my big Canon camera. It's a bit of a bulky camera, so the plan was to film on my phone. Fortunately, I didn't get footage for you. I just I don't know what I did. It just didn't go to plan. So I filmed what I ate in Manchester. There wasn't a lot, but that's what I did. It. I did film what I did eat, so all that's there for you. So I'm just filling in the blanks with this. Um, so the plan was lower body day, so squats and deadlifts. It was not too heavy a day. It was um, 85 kg for uh, max reps of 10. I decided not to put that in because my <laughs> arse crack was out. Full on out, I didn't even notice. I'm just so glad that I was the only one in the gym at the time, but every time I squatted down, full arse crack for everyone to see. And it's not really what you it's not really what I should be putting on YouTube, is it? So I didn't put that. So what you are seeing now is the following sets after that, after the max rep of 10. And the plan was five sets of three reps at 87.5 kg. Now that was on that was that was the plan. It was with 30 seconds rest in between each set and it actually felt really good. Put my hoodie on, it was cold in the gym, hood up, blocked everything out. So I was just, everything was, I was in my own little world, I was zoned out, just concentrating on it. And I just repped out the squats and they felt easy, they felt really good, so I was really happy with that. Not really any major issues. Couldn't have been happier actually, so maybe that's what I'll need to do from now on. Just put a hood on, get in the zone, it does help you out sometimes. It's the, it's the mental cues that you go through that will help you get through a workout. But after that it was some deficit deadlifts, and now this wasn't heavy at all, 80kg. Three sets of eight, simple and again, it wasn't a very difficult workout. It was a very quick workout, all together took about 30 minutes and that was it. So. That's all the workout footage for guys, I'm going to let it play out now and I will catch you in the next clip which is my post workout meal. Yeah, post workout meal time guys. Um, if you saw my last video, which you should have, if you haven't, go and check it out. I showed you my vegetable prep that I do to make Meals a little bit quicker and a little bit easier, so this is what I'm having. In here I've got a couple of portions of my mixed vegetables with some chicken already cut up as cooking. Now I've also already got some chicken cooked up, so I'm going to add that. And I've got a little bit of rice already cooked up, so I'll add that. And then that is going to be my post-workout meal. It's just spinach, onions, peppers, just for my mixed veg prep basically, with some chicken and some rice keeping it low fat because of the meal for later on and yeah that's what I'm going to have so this is what it looks like guys got my rice my chicken and my vegetable prep makes it so much easier it looks so good and it is low in fat so I'm going to get that down me and now doesn't that look good vegetable prep makes it so much quicker to make your meals. That took all of about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna get that down, my guys, post-workout meal, and yeah, I'll catch you in a little while. So, in Manchester, there's no way I'm gonna be 
eating healthy as hell is there's no way I'm going to bring all my food with me I didn't even want to be carrying around my camera let alone a load of food only one way to do it I knew I was going to be eating out so that's why I did make sure I had a lot of calories to play with so have you seen in the previous clips I didn't have that much to eat I had my pre-workout my post-workout shake and then my post-workout meal now it was I kept it all low in fat just carbs and protein so at this point I am playing with about 60 grams of fat probably about 100 grams of protein and probably 200 grams of carbs so for me there's only one place I want to go Hard Rock Cafe as you can see um, this place is awesome, the food is so good now what you're about to see is the meal I got and it was amazing it does not disappoint, never does, never disappoints no. it is a pulled barbecue chicken sandwich with a side of chips or fries or whatever you want to call them some barbecue baked beans and coleslaw it was amazing You know you're going to go out and you know you're going to be eating certain foods that may be high in fat, high in carbs and you still want, even though I am bulking, I don't want to go too far out and you know I am trying to pull things back and work out the maintenance calories, but I did need to eat, this was just a, a day trip out so I just treated myself. So that's what you do, you just move around things, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but move around things, plan ahead, you can, with tracking your macros you know how much you've got to play with and it probably was over the, the fat content but I'm not too fussed. So that one meal was 1,442 calories according to my fitness pal. Now I have checked about, they do not give the breakdown of the macronutrients or the fats, the carbs and the proteins. So I'm just guessing at this point that I have reached my fats, my proteins and my carbs. The only thing I did do which I didn't manage to film was just before I got to bed. I did have a protein shake just to make sure, just to double check that I got all my protein in because lately I haven't actually been getting as much protein as I should have been getting in so I just wanted to make sure and if I go over a little bit I'm not too bothered about that now that is basically going to be it for the video guys a little bit different from usually I have actually don't think I've ever done one like this before so if you did like it please give it a like if you're watching this and you're not subscribed please click subscribe I do appreciate it and let me know in the comments below if you like the video and yeah sorry for it being late I will catch you in the next video guys, bye for now.